Это такая как та. Look how it smells. It smells like brand new. О май гад, Оксана, смотри какая тут. How much? How fast? 50? This is a compartment key. Mm -hmm. All right, this is your ignition key. How to start the boat, okay? Yep. Very simple. This black piece right here is a weather cap, so if it falls off, give me a fall and I can get you a new one, all right? Okay. You're gonna take the key, stick it through the weather cap. Uh-huh. Let me see. Let me see if it's aligned. Okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it to your run position. That's the beep you wanna hear, okay? Now, if there is something wrong with this motor, it will do a beeping sound after that. It'll go beep, beep, beep. This motor is super smart. Um, what it has, it does have a guardian system on there, so it's constantly monitoring all the systems on there. If there was an issue with the motor, it would go in this thing called guardian mode, and what that does is it allows the limiter to be pushed down all the way to the bottom, so you can't really full throttle it or anything. It will limit out your revs, so you won't further damage your motor, okay? That is a good thing. Now, sometimes, worst case scenario, something can happen and you still could push the limits on there, blah, 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 okay? But that's um, when I learn. That's, that's when you learn, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure it's in the run position, all right, hear the beat. Make sure this engine is neutral. This kill switch down here, make sure that's in the run position, okay? Now you're ready to go, all right? Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to start this motor out of the water, but for a couple seconds, it's fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it over right here. Hear that beat, we're gonna go ahead and run it. It starts like a car? Just like a car, okay? Now before going on the water, yes, you can do it. The drive on this one is a little bit different than a regular outboard. So you can run that, that rubber impeller for a little bit longer, like a couple seconds or so. Once you hear it start, you're good to go. All right. So I should dip it into the water first dip, and no, then start it. This is when you're at home, okay, before you go out on your trip. You want to check your motor, make sure it starts before you go out there so you don't have a dead battery on the launch ramp. Oh, okay. I see. Nothing's worse than going all the way to the lake and, and you can't really drive your boat because it's that. Can I go in the bay with this? Uh, I wouldn't. Um, no. I mean, the bay would be fine Not on in a calm ocean. day, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't push it too much. It's fiberglass. If you hit some pretty big wakes on this thing, you're going to start cracking something. Waves? Yeah, wakes. Wakes? We well, have yeah, from like other boats and whatnot and, and waves. It'll get rough out there in the bay. Oh, you mean like shaking? Yeah, not shaking. It'll be like whoom, boom. You, you're gonna need like a a deep V hole, um, an aluminum boat. Okay, that's made for that pounding on the ocean. So it's not recommended on the bay? I wouldn't recommend it on the bay. You could do it on a nice calm day, you'll be fine. But other than that, I would not put one out there. When driving on the water, you can have the windshield open, so you have breeze coming in through this way. Uh -huh. You can have somebody on the bow, um, make sure they're ready, prepared to hit a you know a wake or a wave or something. Um, okay. You can break some ribs on there if you're not if you're not careful in driving. Okay? Break what exactly? Show me. Uh, so if you have a a guest right there sitting down. A guest. Yep, and they're like this over here, and you hit a large wake or something, and you come down pretty hard, they might get injured on the side. So always, you know, learn how oh, to drive the people your boat. can get injured. Yes, this is fiberglass. This is not forgiving. This hurts. Okay, so um, just you know, learn how to drive your boat first. Uh, learn how to take some wakes, and, and you'll be fine. Um, but other than that, now how to utilize this? This right here is your trim switch. All right, this is for your motor. So you know how when people say going on plane, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and give this full throttle, and then you're going to hit this up trim switch. Give it full throttle. Mm -hmm. When you're going on plane, okay, plane means pretty much prop is in the water. And the boat's like, water's down here, the, boat's like this. Does it trim the motor too? Does it trim? Trim is the outdrive of that inboard outboard. This doesn't have a trim. This does have a trim. It does have a trim. Yeah, so hear this, hear this. Can you hear it? Hear that? Uh-huh. That's your trim. Mm -hmm. You're allowing your, your outdrive to trim down and to trim up. So basically nose up, nose down? Yep. So, so right, right here is your Mercury logo, okay? Yeah. You're gonna push this in right here push the red lever up and you'll be able to go in forward this is revving it in neutral so okay. it's just revving the motor just revving the motor you don't want to go too far because you'll hit the rev limiter it'll go boom 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 bring it down and bring it back like this slightly and then you'll be fine 
Uh -huh. Okay. Just to increase RPMs. So what yes. What would be the case when I need to do that? When it's cold. When it's cold outside. Yeah. I mean, when it's cold outside, or you're flushing out your motor or whatnot, you could do it that way. Uh huh. Um, that's pretty much it. It's second nature. Um, once you learn how to drive your boat, you're gonna know it. Uh, take your turns very easily um, in the beginning. Okay. This thing doesn't tilt. Doesn't tilt. No, no, this is the best you get, right here. All right. So when you're on the it's lake, it's pretty comfortable. It's it's pretty comfortable actually. When you're on the lake, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the gear, and then when you go into gear, you want to go slowly. Push this up, and then bring it forward. Okay. So, so here's your bells and whistles. You're gonna have gauges. These are your analog gauges. These are um, converted from digital signal. Right here's your fill. This will tell you how much fill you have. Miles per hour, um, temperature for the water, and, and and what's coming into the motor. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to know what temperature it is on your motor. Right, oil, PSI, um, RPM, and trim. Okay, see how it says trim up? If you go ahead and bring uh, it down. See how it starts moving down? Uh huh. Now you're about halfway, okay? What you wanna do is when you're towing, you wanna trim it all the way up till it stops. Right when there. When you tow with a car, when you're towing. all the way up. Yep, because I'm gonna show you when we get out uh -huh. of the, the drive uh -huh. that I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, this is pretty much it. This right here is your check engine light, so if there was an issue, it would happen right there. I'll show you that light. Okay, switches right here is your horn. Okay, it's pretty loud. It sounds like a cop horn. All right, bilge is right here. It will turn on. What is bilge? Bilge is something what you really do want. What happens is if you take on water, you know, instead of you know taking buckets in, you know, getting rid of the water, you press the bilge. The water's going to exit. Yep. Ah. The water will go in here and seep down the drains wow. into your bilge. All right, so you flip that switch and the water's going to shoot out that way. Here's the starting procedure again. This is safety. So here we go. Neutral, run, start the motor over to the right. Hear that beep? See this blower? Yeah. This is a huge safety concern, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip that on. What that blower does, if your boat's been sitting or it's been in storage or whatever, uh, before you start on there, run that for about a few minutes or so, okay? What, what that does it do? It circulates the air inside, okay? Because uh. your, your, your motor's inside. There's no air circulation going in there. Okay? This is the reason why. If you have gas fumes in there and you go and try to start your motor, you can blow the back out. Okay? It literally, it will literally it will, it will it will have, you know, it can start a fire. So what happens is uh you, there's a lane that you get your boat ready before you launch it, okay? Yeah. When you get in that lane, just flip at that home. blower switch on. At home? Nope, at the lake. At the lake. Yep. Have you been to the lake yet? No. <laughs> I don't. See how it says gasoline vapors can explode? Here's a huge sticker right here. Okay? Operate blower for four minutes. All right, At I least say five, five minutes. minutes. That's just, I in, say, yeah, just in case. Exactly. Okay. So this this will prevent a lot of, you know, a lot of mishaps. All right. So yeah. just flip that that bird, that That's blower very on dangerous. Basically, it's very dangerous after a while. Uh, lights and navigation. If you put navigation lights on right here, you're going to have two lights built into the bow of the boat. Okay. You're going to have red and green. Bow means the front. It's the front of the boat. Correct. Now, if there was any issues, um, you need to come see us, and we'll fix them under warranty or whatnot. But this gives you, a, this allows other boaters to see which direction you're going in at nighttime. Okay. Okay, so if you're driving at night, that is very crucial. You need to put that on. Now, if you're staying, you know, put, just press on the anchor light and your anchor light on the back will turn on. So I have to manually do forward and backwards? You manually do it. Yes, this is at nighttime. Forward? This is like, this is like almost your headlights. Uh-huh. All right, this will tell so other. So forward is this way. Forward, if you press forward and you're driving normally, your bow lights will turn on. Uh huh. Okay? If you're just stationary, press on the anchor light and you're done. Anchor light is that big, tall light on the back. Courtesy lights? Courtesy lights. See those little lights behind you? Uh huh. And those are LED lights on the, on the bottom. This will light the boat up a little bit. Master pretty much turns everything on. So Master's can I have your... Master on all the time? Well, when you're not in night. use, turn it off. It will drain the battery. It will drain the battery, correct. Okay, I see. All right, but other than that, that's pretty much it with the helm. Okay, the size is 12 volt receptacle. Okay. What is 12 volts is just the outlet for the cell phone? Cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter. You can do whatever you want with it. Life yeah. jackets. Life jackets. You put a life jacket. See this board right here, that starboard? Yeah. You don't want anything close to that motor, especially when it's running. Okay, so this is the edge. Correct. So the, the, the nothing should be on that side. Can you put anything? What is that? What are, what are those? Uh, those are for your holders for your lights. The holders for lights? What lights? Your light. Your anchor uh, light. Ah. This will be stored in there. So I have to remove that every time. Mm -hmm. and Do I paddle. have to put this on? Yes. Only at night. Only at night. You're... It's right there. It's just one. Mm -hmm. Let me see this. It's just an emergency, right? Correct. Here. 
That's so, else. so I just want to notice that. So it's on the. You, you, you'll get taken care of that. This little thing. This part. You know what? You're, you'll huh? be fine. I'll take this and I'll get you a whole new arm. You're gonna be fine. No uh, problem. Yeah. I, I know you're gonna, you're gonna take care of it. It's safety, just was hard for me though, to hard safety, to explain. Safety wise, nothing. It's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, I know. Okay. In the meantime, um, in the meantime, you're gonna be fine. But on this right here, do you want a whole new one, or would you like something else? Like what? Maybe a gift card. A gift card would be nice. Is it sick? So the whole thing with that, I mean, unless you want that taken care of, you gotta get a whole new seat. It just takes forever to order. You'll be out of, I mean, you won't be out of it, but you won't get replacements in these 10 weeks. Possibly. Up to 10 weeks. Let's just get the gift cards for all those. I'll make that happen. All right. Okay. I appreciate it. You got it? Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll make that happen for yeah. you. Yeah. Learn it, understand it. Um, like I said, because you. I'm glad I have 4.5, not 6 points. <laughs> because I would run out of gas. Yo, it's, a, it's a gas here, right? I don't understand much about both, so anything would look odd to me. I'm, I'm kind of gonna... I will say though, um, your warranty for fiberglass crack, cracking and all that stuff is one year. One year. All right, then. Until it clicks, closed. To take it off, you lift up that latch, slide it back, secure it there. Take this little leg, which will be secure on this uh, but I mean, it's very straightforward. So after about 20 to 50 hours, you can do your braking procedure uh, oil change. I have to bring here. What do these numbers mean? License plate for a boat. Oh, okay. Here are your registration stickers. We're going to go ahead and put them on. I have to do it every year? Uh -huh. Is it expensive to register it? Mm. Less expensive than the car, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, by a few bucks. Uh, something like that. Well, so these are at 50. 50? We set them to 50, yeah. Okay, good. Um, good. Now... All this, across. All across. Now this is... Uh, it's a powder coat, so it's it's very rugged. Obviously, I wouldn't leave it submerged in the water for weeks at a time. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's weatherproof. So for free. We'll keep all your boat with the boat. <laughs> a, a quick detailer is going to keep. It's going to lubricate your towel, and it's going to keep it from scratching this black fiberglass. And this is a, a fiberglass, and this is an enamel paint. This being open is perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, and it's an enamel paint. It is much tougher than the fiberglass, but anything's going to wear out in the sun. When the boat was sold. They ordered the cover because uh. it never came with the boat. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. We can pick it up later. All right, perfect. So. Trying to load the boat into the boat. I mean, into the lake. First time. First time. Come on, Dad. Come on. This is cool. Slowly and steady. Slow and steady. Going to the race. Oh, that's all. You were the video guy. The eagle is in the water. Look, the trail's underwater, but we don't care. I think I'm gonna go. Down, everybody, sit down. You see, it's supposed to be around. Oh, it's better. 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 Давай, 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 давай,